Okay, so we're going to play an hour of rapid games, 10 0, straight through, no break. Just uh, let's just crack on. We'll capture the palm. Hopefully, we won't get many blobs and to play the games through. Okay, so let's have a look what we've got. I'm going to hit the palm and take the queen and attack the palm. Then attack the king. Take the pawn. Then attack the pawn in front of the king. Attack the pawn in front of the king again. Bishop comes here. And they've resigned. Oh, come on. There's nothing meaty about that. It's only minus one. That's nothing. Okay, let's crack on. Let's just push here. Let's get the knight out. Oh, we're playing super speedy. Oh, like this. Supporting the pawn. X-ray through to the king. Take the knight. Castle. Take the bishop first. Take the knight. Attack the pawn. It's attacking the rook. Move that out of the way. Taking the pawn. Not yet. Going to hit the bishop first. Hit the bishop again. Probably able to take the pawn here. Let's take. No side motion to this. Okay, what do we have? Smaller piece, second higher piece. Could hit the queen. But I think they'll just drop because the knight has to move. But the queen is protecting. So if we hit the queen, then the queen moves there. Then the knight moves here, attacking the queen. Let's hit the queen. Could take this pawn as well. Yep, okay, we'll take this pawn, but he's going to take this pawn. Mmm. Dawn's a marble head, but we will get the bishop. Take the bishop. And what's that? We're losing the We're losing the pawn. But if we bring this here, he takes the pawn, we put a check on the king here. So we're harassing it for a moment. He takes the pawn. Yep. Come here, put a check on the king. Dart square, but the queen is covering the dart square. Would come round here and it's not a checkmate, but it's harassing the king. On a white square, queen can't get up there because the queen is there. Could push the pawn, but the rook gets taken. Hmm. Take this pawn, make some space. It looks good, but it's not got much teeth on it, has it? There, and then his rook's just going to come and attack. Queen's taking another pawn. Well, if they take that pawn, the rook will take. Might just go for an exchange of the rooks. Um, we push a little bit more. Queen comes back. Push one more. Queen comes back, like we said. We'd move the queen out of the way and then get the other rook involved. Is that too late though? Rook takes, rook takes. No, it's not too late, I don't think.
bring the overrook in. We're not doing that, no. But we're babysitting, aren't we? We're babysitting the pawn. Any of this? Not yet, nope. This pawn's ready to be taken. Squeezing here. Still got his rook. Hmm. Tricky times. We'll be doing this now. Queen takes. I think they'll beat us to the punch though. Just locking it down. That's what I think they'll do. If not, it's the rook coming here to put some more pressure on the pawn. Hmm. All right, it's protecting the pawn with the queen. So I'm going to hit the king. And if we hit the king again, he's dropping in here. Our queen's on a dark square at the minute. Right. If we take, queen takes. Oh no, we get a check on his king, so we get the pawn for free. For a brief moment. And we squeeze the queen in where we wanted it to go. This is where the rook can come into play and actually put an x-ray through to the king. Don't think there's any dilly dallying, so we'll just simply take. But what do we do with it now? We could attack the pawn. We put a check on. King takes the pawn. We take the pawn with a check on the king. Let's do that. Oh, it just hides. Just take with a check on the king. Tax the rook. That's the rook. I really wanted to put some more checks on them, but I'm going to have to defend. If I defend, rook comes, then we're really challenging. So, yep, yeah, let's do that. Let's move this out of the way. Can move it to the side, there's no more checks from either rook. A nice position though because it's stopping the queen but the queen can just come here the king's going to go here but then we can do that and get their rook off the board
checking my timer. Yeah, uh, seven minutes in. So we're blocking the attack here, which makes sense. So the rook can just come here. Or is there something better? It is on a dark square. Put a little check here. Seeing as it's not there anymore. Put a check on here. In fact, that might be checkmate. Nice one. Excellent. So we're not taking any breaks in this um, session, but we're not powering through either, taking our time. And then let's just push through here, E4. Let's attack the pawn. Let's attack the pawn again. What we take. Exchange the queens off. Attack the pawn, that's got no protection. I don't like this opening. I think I've mentioned it on numerous occasions. It looks good, it feels good, but somehow they I'm taking the knight off the board. Castle. I'm gonna try and do it a bit differently maybe. Push here, I'm doing the same stuff at the minute, just stopping the knight, jumping in. Would normally go here, not minding doubling the pawns. Gonna hit the bishop this time. Gonna keep the diagonal. Get ready to push. Let's go. And keep going. Right. Put the check on. not a very good position for us this is I don't really like this opening it looks good it looks like you're winning when you first start out you know you're attacking these pawns but then somehow you end up feeling strangulated you don't really have any play anywhere I'm going to go here, rooks are coming here, feel like congested in, can't even go here, the bishop's got everything. It's not a good opening for white, and I should really just stay away from it, I only realise I'm in it after the third move and I'm like, oh, and you can't do anything about it. Well he could, but you know. Go here, see if we can swing around here, make it a bit more productive somewhere. Oh, come on. What well, I mean, they've got all the squares. I have to take. They've got all the squares. Poor knight is now just held to ransom. Shocking. Good luck to get some activity going. Don't think they'll tape. If they did, then we're on there. Let's hit the knight. And the pawn, obviously. Just take, back in the bishop and the pawn, probably going back, protecting.
Tricky, tricky. The rook is protecting. Could take the bishop off the board. Knight takes. Put a check on the king. Let him know we're here. The bishop. Ooh, his rook comes down. Bishop, yeah, okay. So his rook's probably coming here. Yeah. Bishop takes. Move the knight. Move the bishop attacking the pawn up here. The knight is on the pawn. The bishop think it's doing, it's attacking our pawn support. If ever there was a game that looked like a draw, this is a game that looks like it's a draw. Got a white square bishop. I don't really want them on white square, but I can't help it. Can't help it. Maneuvering, stopping the knight from bouncing around. So we could go there. I think he's coming here just to see if he's getting this. Let's move the knight. The bishop stays there, we'll get it off the board. With the fork. But we believe it's coming here. So to stop that fork action, we could push the pawn, but the knight is defending that. Oh, hold on. We could push the pawn. Oh, we can't push here because the bishop's blocking. I was thinking, oh, we could touch the knight then, and it has to go away. Might as well take then, so the knight's not getting the fork after all. Could attack the bishop, see what he's doing. And the knight's no longer jumping anywhere now. I have to move the king. Look to see if we jump here and attack. Knight's coming for the bishop. moved here don't have any okay if we moved here sorry could go here could go here let's do that first before we think about doing any of this stuff attacking the bish so the pawn is going to be here but his king is right over there and it will be able to take the pawn off the board So we don't really like them apples. See how that looks. I'm going to be trying to come round and get this palm. Stop us from doing this. we can carry on doing that so if he's going to meet our pawn we can just take it yeah 
of a long term move here and here in a two on one. Take King is so close, but my pawn is there. Just take or carry on with this. If we don't do that, his knight can come in here and it can jump in here. I'm gonna take. If we did put the check on and come round here, okay, let's do that. Very conscious that we're going to have to keep defending this pawn because I think they're going to make their way down, trying to attempt to. Ooh, okay. I don't think there's much though. Check or attack the bishop. Attack the bishop. It's definitely a draw then, isn't it? If he leaves the bishop there and we take pawns here, do we lose out? It up. Put the pawn protecting the pawn with the bishop. No point chasing the bishop because he's gonna just. Oh, is there a fork? Oh, just on the king. Just on the king. Where was my knight? Was it here? Yeah, it was there. I was thinking, God, if it was in there, shouldn't it have been taken? Let's come back for us. Let's attack the bishop. Move her back again. Let's go back again. Free fold. We'll take that. Excellent. Nice one. Oh, maybe we did something wrong, but it looks drawish to me. Okay. What are we on? We've done 20 minutes already. Crikey. 23 minutes actually. Let's go again. Let's block the palm. Oh, old school. And that's not the way, but hey, we're going to be doubling pawns and stuff. Signal's gone. Oh, not a, not a blobber. You see, this is, you know, this is why we don't do the full record, you know, show the full recording because we, you get a lot of blobbers, you know, one or two free moves and that's it. So you have to do your editing, you know, and put a bit of style in there to break up um, the bad play and you show your highlights because some of the low lights are really bad anyway. Like everybody, you know, you play really bad games and you wouldn't want to show those games because why would you? Because they're not any good. Um, okay, so they've left the game. Weird. Yeah, so when you, this is live, you know, we're doing it live. We don't have a chat or anything like that, you know, that type of thing. So it's not bouncing backwards and forwards with them, um, conversations about the blue sky and stuff like that. But all in all, it is live, live recordings, but when you look at the full recording, there's games in there that you, you think, well, what is the point in that? You know, you, you're not going to show those sort of things. You show kind of the highlights and the low lights as well. And, you know, you, you edit it to be more appropriate rather than a mess of games that just aren't played. So we'll go in for another one. Just push through here. Open up the knight. Shall we take the pawn here? Let's just block the pawn. 
We attack the king baiting the pawn. The rationale for baiting the pawn for me is that it kind of stops the knight from jumping to the square it potentially was going to go to. So it has to go in the backward way. So we'll bring the bishop here just to defend against the bishop coming here if it does. And let's castle. It looks like he's coming for the pawn. A little bit of a battery situation. Probably baiting another pawn then. Yep, excellent. We're going to bring this bishop back here. Obviously targeting the bishop here. So I don't mind doubling the pawns in this situation. I'm going to take the bishop off the board. Knight's looking to not come here, but probably looking to come here. So we could just push this pawn to stop that. I'm not sure why it's come there. Is it just coming come out to come back in again? Bishop could have taken it, but we're not interested in that. So he thinks there's something there. I'm going to get our knight off the back. Everywhere is jammed, jammed down. Prevention of the knights moving. Queen's protecting the pawn. Bring the queen here to make it look like we're doing something, but the knight is defended, pawn's defended, just gonna simply take anyway. We can hit this pawn, and then the knight will be on the queen, just that this pawn will be very isolated all by itself. Bishop still has the offering of taking here, but the bishop is there, it's gonna be on the rook. We can let it take the pawn, take, take, I think. I think that works for me. Is there anything else? Feel a little bit jammed in. Maybe the bishop comes here to make a bit of space. But it, the reason it's there is to... So we may as well push the pawn to stop the bishop from coming there in the first place. Rook next. Does take, so we'll capture. Now we've got an open file. The knight's moved dead quick. So it's moved there and it's moved back again. It's coming round again. Something. Where is it going? That is the question. That must give us something then. You know, it's chomping up a bit to do this. Poor isolated pawn. I've got to think about my pawns. Boom. Takes knights on the queen. That's the only saving grace about that move. It is proactive. Just bring the rook here. Try to own the file. Knight's in again. Look at it. Stacking this pawn actually. It's got a fork. I'm going to bring the queen here. This player's got massive vision. Massive vision. With the way they move the knight there, there to target this single little tiny pawn. Wow. It'd be appropriate if it didn't stay there, we can take and then we'd get a pawn. Let's see if they've got that vision. Probably have. Bishop probably defending or something. Bishop's attacking the rook, so it's giving us something to think about. And that means if we bring this rook here, we can't bring this rook here. That's annoying. Knight can't block. Right. 
these rooks are going to be facing the queen this rook will be here queen's going to have to come to the side protecting it mm, and the bishop is managing this square mm -mm -mm. let me bring the rook here and the rook comes to defend so there's no longer the knight taking bishop taking well bishop can take but the rook probably going to hit the queen We have to do something. There's no way of stopping this diagonal with this bishop. They've got big vision. This must be some sort of... If I was guessing any ratings, I would say this is probably like a 1700. With that type of vision. It's not saying it's great, but yeah spotted that little gap there to attack the rook that's um me high level stuff we go here rook comes across maybe we just hit the knight knight moves let's go with the rook see if we hit the queen yeah he's going straight for it the rook doesn't have any protection on by the way so if we did go and attack the queen, if the queen moved, hmm, say so if the queen doesn't take it just goes, well, so what, boom. Then we move out of the way. Oh, but then he gets the pawn. Oh, man, if he takes the pawn, we take here. See if he does or not. But oh, the pawn gets taken anyway. Silly me, because it's the rook. If the rook takes, then can't defend the damn thing. But bam, gonna have to take with the pawn if it does. If they do take. Yes, this is um, a high level player. Uh, way past my um, skill grade. We're thinking they're not actually going to capture, they're going to move the queen somewhere else. But they could go there, look at that man. Attacking the bishop, bishop's got no protection. That's where the bishop would then take the knight. But then the rook takes the bishop. And then the queen can come here, protecting for a brief moment. Take. Knight's going to take. We're going to have to take, obviously, because we can't bring the rook here. With their high level play but we can't do anything there the rook is coming here hitting the knight and hitting the pawn e, we can do a blocker but it's not going to last long because the pawn's going to drop yeah that's next level thinking dude so we could attack the bishop but I think the bishop is probably just going to sit here Ooh la la. Yeah, this is a painful game. Painful, painful. This is one of those when, if I did the edits and we weren't playing straight through, I'd just show you the back end of the game. I'm just showing the squishing of it all. Oof, painful. Them games where you just can't see a way through at all. Ay, ay, ay. I'm looking, I'm looking. Could hit the bishop, but like we said, it's just going to drop down here. And it's going to make no difference to the fact that we're going to lose this pawn because we don't have anything that can protect. The rook can come here and protect it, I suppose. Can't it? 
That's not what it's designed for. We should be owning this file and we can't own it. Let's hit the bishop. They may not go here. Maybe they'll just go back, but they're safe there. We can't touch it there. Rook could look like it's going to do something there. No, it's going back. We could push this pawn, but it's going to be too late to the party. Rook comes down. Rook comes across. Then his knights have a field day with us. And this pawn's got no protection either. So the rook just comes across here when we're going to protect that. Oh, Chamale. It's all just mounting up. All just mounting up. So try and beat them to the punch. They come down. Push the pawn. Always landing on a white square. Push the pawn on a dark square. Moves his rook across. And what I was thinking was if we did that, they come down, push all the way to the white square, comes across to attack it, then the rook could come here and the pawn, which is an absolute garbage position. Rook comes across to protect it, does have life if it could get across here to try and come around here, but the knight is there to get a check on the king, but that's about it. There's nothing I can do. I could attack the bishop. Not coming here, it's not coming there, it's not coming there, so like I said, it could come here. Hmm. But, wow, one minute left. Oh no. Well, there's, I, I might as well resign this one. I, I can't do anything. When the writing's on, the bishop's moved. The bishop's moved. Let's attack the rook. Shh, don't tell nobody. Don't tell nobody. Uh, have we, we circumvented it? He's attacking the pawn. Attacking. What else is he attacking? Am I blocking my knight? I don't want to do that because he's just going back again. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's hitting this pawn. Time's running out. I've got to bullet it. I'm shocked. I'm shocked at that. Do we just trade down now? He's got five minutes though, hasn't he? He's got five minutes. Trading. Can't be a nuisance. Can't go there. But I've got that pawn. Try and be a nuisance, bishops protecting. Push the pot. Oh, what's he doing? Back the bishop. Take the bishop. What's this? Can't get that. Blah, blah, blah. Just go here. Ew. Beta palm. Push this. Not too fast, dude. It's going to struggle. That pawn's going to struggle. That's going to struggle. I, I can't. I'm going to have to go one, two... He's going one to attack this. We we'll have to go. Just 
block me. What's he doing? That's going to be the annoying factor. So he's going to get this pawn. Uh, maybe back. Eight seconds left. Yeah, be times. Push a palm. Push a palm. Push a palm. He's got the pawn that he was going for. Attack. I'm a bishop. <laughs> it's all falling apart. Oh, never mind. Oh, damn. Yeah, that was a little bit strong in part at the beginning. And then it kind of, the ending was a little bit struggling. So I'll, I'll probably bring them down to like maybe 1600 and experience 1600 because the end wasn't as good. And we ran out of time and the position was a bit shot anyway. Right, what are we on? Thank you, we are nearly finished, you know. Here we may. Double check my time. 42 minutes we've gone for, so we are nearly done. 12, is that 12 minutes left? I've got, probably got that wrong. 16 minutes, 18 minutes. Yeah, 18 minutes left. Not a bad showing, not a bad showing. Let's keep going. Oh, that's supposed to be E4. What is this malarkey? I tell you, my mouse is a, bit, a little bit sensitive lately. Let's go here. I might have to change the settings. A little bit. Put a check on. Beta palm. Fake. Check on. Get the knight out. It's castle. The knight is out. It's coming here, so we may as well bring our knight here. Let's get the dark square bishop blocking. For a brief moment. Not sure, dude, what that is. So we're taking. I'm going to take. Then we're going to just bring the queen across, attacking the knight, attacking the pawn. to do a two-on-one situation here he is protected with the knight the knight has moved he does still have that two-on-one protection but we're going to bring the rook here put three on there smaller pieces obviously hitting the queen or is the knight coming hitting the queen adding a bit of protection to the pawn This pawn might be going, but they'll be thinking, well, the rook is going to come and take this pawn off. So we may not take that pawn. And they have hit us. Right, okay. Options and choices. We're not taking this pawn. So we come across, back in the queen. No, because we don't have any support. I like this position, I like this position, but I can't stay. Can come here. Still got the free attacking. So 
So this knight's going to have to come here to have a free protection. Or here, because it's attacking the queen. Or here, it's attacking the queen. It's got many places to attack our queen. <laughs> On defending, we'll bring the rook here. This knight's not doing much. I'm, I'm wanting to get this knight into the game. It's either coming here or it's coming here. But for now, I'm just going to bring a rook here. Can't see any after movements if it, the knight's here. It's not got this, it's not got this, not got that. There's no real point in sitting it there at this moment. Obviously looking to try and put a fourth piece onto this. But they're not going to wear their apples. They'll be challenging the rook. He says. Mm -mm. Timestamp. 47. They've moved the queen, which was one of the protectors. But I think what they're going to do is when we take the pawn, I think the rook's just going to come here. Because then the knight can't, well, the knight can put a check on the king. So they may have misplaced that one, or do they just take with the knight anyway? There, take, takes with the knight. And we can't actually take back with the queen anyway, can we? Yeah, so he's got lower level pieces defending. And we've got one low level one that can take. But then he's got two that can defend. So we'd lose a piece. We'd lose a minor piece. It would be the case of the missing knight. How did we end up losing the knight? Even if we brought this here, they're like three high level pieces on there. But that doesn't make sense to actually take. So how can we make this better then for us? It felt good at the time. But now it's like a bit of a waste of time. The knight, again, doesn't really have any play, so I don't think there's any interest in jumping the knight in there. I think the queen needs to move off, but it can't go there because the queen is there. Hmm. Interesting times. Um, can't get this knight into it. I can't get my knight into attacking... So something doesn't feel right now. We're back to the drawing board. Knight here. In to attack the queen. I think we'll go with that. Make some use of the knight. We were going to attack the queen, but where is it now? What are they attempting to do? They've gone in front of our king, doesn't have any support. So I think we can still continue doing this because the rook is defending the knight. So we'll attack the queen. Doesn't have to take, obviously. Can do what he needs to do. He does take. Take with the knight. 
we have that check on the king that we saw many moons ago. We've offered a draw, probably is a draw, but we'll continue playing, play it out as a draw. I'll click the X and they'll probably prove me wrong. Excellent, so we can put the check on the king, the king comes across, we take the pawn, take the pawn, rook takes with the check, we take, and then his knights eat me alive, so that's where the problem would lie, take, Attack the rook, attack in the pawn. Yes. It's only a pawn though, so they're probably looking at improving their position somehow. Take, we take, come down one protecting the pawn still so we could just attack the rook and say well what are you doing but he can just drop here we take in the meantime quickly come back that attack any attacks and then we have to think about that as well can't come here because the rook will take go backwards Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Leaving a nasty taste in my mouth, and this knight is not looking good. From here, it's got everything. Ouch, he's going to be coming here, taking the pawn off. We go here, then maybe we can defend the knight, but not save the pawn. Hmm. Getting that nasty taste in my mouth. Come down for the pawn. We can push. He pushes. Come down for the pawn. Come to hit the pawn. Does take. And probably better take him with the pawn, but then he takes and take with the knight he takes. Oh dear. My king is a little bit hairy. Boom, 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 boom. Take with the pawn, he takes, he's on the knight. Come round attack and attacks the knight. Mm, it's not healthy, is it? But that's worse if we take with that, isn't it? Because it goes there, the knight can't come here. Mm. Check, just moves there. Not going to waste time in that because we'll get a bad crank. Attack the rook. Ooh, hold on. Attack the rook. He pushes down onto our rook. We come here. He goes there. No, because we would just hit the pawn off, wouldn't we? Oh, no, we wouldn't. Sorry, if we attacked there and then he dropped there. Can't take the rook. Oh, that was him. Yeah, we could take the rook. Attack the rook. Maybe he just takes. 
and then it gets our night anyway. Yeah, that's probably what they're doing. Maybe not. But if he takes, then we take the rook off the board. He attacks our rook. We can take the rook. Okay, um did that go weird? Take the rook. Surely we can don't tell me his knights can come and defend it somehow. Surely not, they're all the way up there. Dun, 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 dun. No? Oh, that was a system meltdown. Has he got a fork? The knight king is here, so it's not going to be a fork, so we'll take. I've just remembered this is the guy that offered the draw, isn't it? Oh, okay. And we're running out of time. So that's looking forky. Let's just hit the knight. They're moving dead quick now. No forks yet. Nope. Why is this not moving? I'm gonna run out of time, aren't I? Got a fork. Well, not a fork. He's got to check on my king. But it'd be weird if he got a checkmate with two knights. That would be weird. Hmm. You know, I'm dreading the fact that he might get a fork, you know. We go here. No.
<laughs> Probably stalemate, isn't it? No, it's not, no. Oh, it was a draw anyway. <laughs> it's just stupid. Oh, I couldn't move fast enough. Never mind. Okay, I think that's the session over with. I think we've gone over, over by two minutes. Okay, probably was a clear win, but I was too slow. Showboating with the pieces, and my time was down. Anyway, bye for now.